Hey, so I'm going to do a real quick run through the news, and then what else will we talk about but John Carpenter and Rob Zombie. All right, so for the news, um, surprising turn of events, sort of, in my opinion. I did expect the Colorado Avalanche to win, but not to sweep the Edmonton Oilers. I think it's a little bit sad because Connor McDavid's supposed to be the best player in hockey, so you, in your mind, compare him to Wayne Gretzky, especially being on the Oilers. Um... Also, thankfully surprising, Tampa Bay has made it 2-2 two two with the Rangers, but they do go back to New York tonight, so we'll see how that turns out. Anyways, enough with sports. Um, Rob Zombie's got his Munsters trailer out. I saw a 40-second, 45-second, something like that, clip. I usually don't watch trailers, but I was curious enough to watch it. I don't usually watch trailers, as some of you know, because I hate spoilers. Um, I was just talking on Twitter with someone about how a comedy sometimes lets the best parts, you know, the best gags out, and then you go watch the movie, you've already seen the funny parts. Ooh, don't like trailers. I think, um, I think they need to have more creative people, like maybe directors work on the trailers, something. Um, better writers, I mean, come on, I would love to make trailers that don't give away the main point of the effing movie. I mean, come on. I don't even want to watch some of these movies after I see the trailer. Uh, and I think sometimes really movies have been just absolutely ruined for me. I mean, I would, if I would have watched probably like the village trailer, forget it. That's a one-time movie as it is fantastic one-time movie, but it's a one-time movie. Once you have the gag of it, it's over anyways. So, uh, somebody else on Twitter was saying Toby Hooper was a better director than John Carpenter because John Carpenter has done more movies, but hit and miss. And I can see the argument because John Carpenter has done also remakes. Um, but I do disagree. I think John Carpenter's better because Escape from L.A. in particular uh, over New York. And both of them are good, though. Great. Great. But Escape from L.A., that really influenced my novel. Uh, one of many things it has. Come on, I mean, um, Big Trouble in Little China. Oh, one of my favorite flicks as a kid. I love that movie, and it has been years since I've seen that, but it still sticks with me. Very, very, very rewatchable, classic movie. Um, I did not like his Vampires movie. Uh, something in common with John Carpenter and Rob Zombie, Halloween. I know it's crazy because I'm a big horror fan. I'm sure everyone probably expects me to be a Halloween fan. I don't really like Halloween. I like the music, the original music that John Carpenter did. Not a real big Halloween fan. Um, I'm a Friday the 13th kind of guy as far as those three big ones go. Um, second would be Friday the 13th. Third would be Halloween out of those. Not a real big fan. Um, I do think those are a movie you could put a marathon of and like have on the background during... Halloween week or something, but besides that, nope, I, I play the music often. I think the music is some of the greatest, and music makes a movie, but just that one doesn't do it for me. Um, as far as horror goes, or I guess you could say sci-fi horror maybe, In the Mouth of Madness. Oh man, that is such a good one. Sam Neill film, gotta see it. And that's part of the apocalyptic trilogy of They Live, another fantastic one. Prince of Darkness, really, really great film. And then In the Mouth of Madness, which just tops it off. I love that film. What else does he do that I really love? I think those are my main ones. Those three, The Thing, and then um, Big Trouble in Little China and Escape from L.A., John Carpenter-wise. I think those are my main six. Uh, Dark Star was great, too, though. So there's seven that I really, really do love of John Carpenter. Toby Hooper, um, Life Force is one of my favorite movies. I think that is probably up there in being my favorite vampire movie. It is equally sci-fi as vampire, which is probably what I like. Um, as I'm a big fan of movies like Event Horizon, another sci-fi that definitely will influence my novel also. But anyways... 
Uh, what do you guys think? John Carpenter, Toby Hooper, don't care. And what do you think about Rob Zombie? Um, that's why I brought up Halloween. So I didn't like his Halloween even less than John Carpenter's. Uh, I only saw the first one. I heard the second one was better, I think people were saying. I can't remember because I don't really care. But um, I will say House of a Thousand Corpses and The Devil's Rejects are two of the finest horror films, I think. Um, oh, and The Legend of El Superbisto is really worth watching if you can handle the cartoon. Uh, this is almost six minutes. I'm going to stop it now. But please let me know if anyone watches, if I've reached any ears. If not, then all right, I'm talking to myself. Later. Have a good one.